Today's video is kind of a mishmash, but there's a lot of content, not a lot of fluff. Let's go. The baby pigs have figured out how to get out of this enclosure, and I'll show you how. This little section of fence was not stapled well. So the post is tensioned pretty well, but they're lifting it up with their little snouts and squeezing under. There they go, just running down the hill. Here's my audience. I think that's gonna keep him from going under there. Little rascals. What do you think you're doing down here? I mean, they're not like doing any harm out here. They, they will though, if we're not careful. So what do I have here? I have some pantyhose. You thought you'd never see pantyhose on my channel, but today we're talking about pantyhose. I'm gonna put a few cups of rice in each one of these. It's kinda of cool look, isn't it? All right, so what am I doing? I'm putting rice in pantyhose, I already told you. I'm gonna to try to use these pantyhose to gather some mycorrhizal fungi from the forest. Mycorrhizal fungi are fungi that have, um, I guess, interdependent relationships with plants. A plant I mentioned a few weeks ago, mayapple, has a relationship with mycorrhizal fungi. It's completely dependent on the mycorrhizal fungi um, to take nutrients out of the soil. And I've started reading specifically Michael Phillips and his books on apples and the environment that apple trees like. And apples can benefit greatly from having kind of a fungal forest um, floor duff around the base of the tree. That's why he recommends using mulches and hardwood um, wood chips around the base of your tree. So I've been wanting to mulch under my trees to provide my apple trees with, with this environment, but I've decided to try to inoculate the ground around the apple trees with these fungi to try to benefit the trees um, before I mulch. I am taking these to the woods and I'm burying them for a while. Oh, I didn't tell you, I put in a pond this morning. Pretty excited, we've been wanting to build a pond for a while. Just a little, you know, a little. Daddy, daddy. I've really been wanting to build one of these natural swimming pools for a while and I thought it might help grow our YouTube channel. So we put it in this morning, I put it in with the kids. I still haven't gotten the filtration system right, I don't think, or I haven't built a filtration system yet, but the, the kids are just loving having a natural swimming pool. And you know, there's no, no chemicals, no chlorine. Um, you could grow fish in there. There's a lot of benefits to having a natural swimming pool. On a more serious note, so we're thinking actually of putting uh, a kiddie pool, a, just making a spot for a kiddie pool, maybe in this corner where we can have shade, and then maybe having a sandbox in the other corner so it can really be a place where we can just come out and enjoy for hours together. So these fungi, they don't just live with the plants. They actually almost are part of the plants because they embed into plants' roots and act as kind of gatekeepers of nutrients and water. So they're actually kind of the magic element that allow plants to absorb nutrients and moisture from the ground. I picked this spot because this apple tree's been here probably 15, maybe 20 years, but I think this spot will probably have the ideal microbes already in the ground that my apple trees will want. I just hope the pigs don't figure out what's in that little bag because it's just right there. Here I'm going for a totally different 
forest ecology. I'm going to go right along this street. I'm going to go right along this stream under a heavy canopy. I'm liking the looks of this a lot. More than that other spot, I think this is kind of a probably a fungi rich environment. There's just this heavy leaf duff here on the ground. It's very moist down here by the creek. And I think we're going to get a great diversity probably of um, species, types of fungi in these two different locations. All right, I think that will do it. I don't really know a lot about this stuff, but using rice does seem like a legitimate way to do this from what I've read and seen. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> the reason I made this so-called pond is because last night it came out and rototilled this section of garden in the dark. And then this morning, Joyful was trying to build a pond right here and I said, no, you can't build a pond in my soil. You'll get it soaking wet and it'll turn into a brick. So we made the pond there with plastic. Mark, get set, go. Do you see that pig? That pig is giving me the evil eye. <laughs> I just thought, I'm serious. The pig gave me the evil eye. I planted comfrey uh, around a few of these apple trees last year. I actually tore this plant off probably six weeks ago. It grows incredibly fast. So I'm gonna just rip it down again. It's a beautiful plant. I'm gonna do what I did about six weeks ago. There's the base of the comfrey plant and it'll just grow straight back up from those roots. And then all these leaves will just decompose and release all those nutrients that they pulled up from deep in the soil and give them to the feeder roots of this apple tree, which are right up here on the surface. I scattered those little root cuttings all through this area along the fence here. Last time I started comfrey from root cuttings, it took like six to eight weeks before I saw any green. So I just need to be patient. There goes Roadrunner. He's still on the outside of the fence and he's still alive. And there's Bonnie. Let's see if we can get her in. Oh, oh well, she's free again. Gotta straighten this fence out here. Just kind of a, a little Premier One or portable electric net fence trick which happened for me inadvertently, is this little U-shaped here. And it's actually a great chicken catching trap because they'll walk right in there. And then either you can force them to fly over or you can catch them. I wasn't able to get these up to the garden the other day because it was too slick in the field. I'm just itching to get these grass clippings into the garden and start a compost pile with them. And if you dig down in here, this is crazy, just after, what has it been, two days? They're burning hot, like hot to the touch. And when you look at them, They've changed color dramatically already. I'm hoping by tomorrow afternoon it'll will have dried out enough I can get them up there. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a slurry of rotten grass in my truck. Sometimes I look around at this place and I say, this is a dream out here. Look at this, this is so beautiful. Anyway, we really love being out here. If you are interested in this t-shirt, this t-shirt's still for sale. I mentioned this the other day in that silly video, but it is actually on Amazon. It's Amazon Prime eligible. This is actually one of the Amazon shirts. So check out the link in the description if you're interested. I'm gonna show you one more thing before I shut this video down. This is where I had the pigs a couple months ago, and I planted cover crops here, and very little of it actually came up. There are some radishes in here. But all this stuff that makes up the majority of what's growing in here, that's just natively seeded. A lot of the clover came up, some of the radishes came up, and there's actually sunflowers in here that I just threw out for fun. Here's pig plot number two. I just seeded this with buckwheat. It's not real thick, it didn't come up real thickly. Here's probably the largest size of plant that's in there. We'll just see how it does, whether it's gonna, the cover crop's actually 
going to cover. Here's pig plot number three. My most recent planting, we did buckwheat, sorghum sudan grass, radishes, and um, cow peas down to the end. I think it's really going to fill in here and actually cover this area like it's supposed to. All right, everybody, this has been another great day on the homestead. Appreciate you joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out our other videos we have. I don't remember how many we have. More than 400, a lot of videos, not 500 though. We'll see you in a video soon.